Hello friends, this video on microorganisms, friend and foe, part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us look at the diseases which are caused in other animals except human beings by these pathogens. So some of the common diseases in animals by pathogens are anthrax, foot and mouth disease, black water, so let us talk about anthrax first. So it is a very common disease which attacks mostly the cattle. In fact, from cattle it sometimes also spreads to human beings as well. So the pathogen which causes this is a bacteria and it is Bacillus anthracis and that is why the name is anthrax. So how the pathogen enters inside the body of an animal? So well, it is very common in farm animals, especially cattle. It is transmitted through direct contact or inhaling or ingestion of the pathogen. So basically through contaminated food or water it can get in or through air as well. Like if one uh, cow is suffering from anthrax there are chances that another cow which stays near to this cow might also get the same disease. It can also be transmitted through direct contact. So therefore an animal suffering from anthrax should be kept in isolation from all other animals. Symptoms of anthrax are, in this case, well, there are no prominent initial symptoms. <clears throat> Initially, you do not get to know that the animal is uh, being infected by this particular bacteria. But later when the symptoms arise that time, it, it is like at a quite later stage. So it becomes quite severe by that time. So that time, some of the symptoms which are seen are swollen, affected area. Bleeding also happens through the pores or the openings in the body. The animal have difficulty in breathing, fever and it becomes actually fatal and it can cause death. So anthrax is a disease in which what happens is initially there are not any, there are no prominent symptoms as such. Now until and unless you see some symptoms of a disease, you do not go for its treatment. Correct. So the same thing happens here. So now you do not even get to know that the cow or the buffalo is suffering from anthrax. But when the symptoms start to appear, that time it mostly it becomes quite late. So that time it can even cause death of an animal. Now in many cases it has been observed that when the symptoms have been seen, after that the animal did not even survive for a day or two. So treatment completely treated if medication is given at an early stage. Now medication can start at an early stage only if it is diagnosed at an early stage. Now diagnosis if it is dependent on symptoms then it will not be detected at an early stage because symptoms are not there at an early stage. Now if you get your animal checked up regularly by a veterinary doctor who does all sort of diagnostic tests periodically. So in that case, there are chances that it might get detected at an early stage. Effective vaccine is available so it can prevent the cause of this disease. So when you give a vaccine to an animal against anthrax, so in that case what happens is whenever this bacteria Bacillus anthracis tries to attack the body, so the vaccine or the antibodies will fight against it and the animal will not get the disease. So that means vaccine helps in its prevention. Foot and mouth disease, so the pathogen involved here is a virus. Now there is not only one particular virus which causes foot and mouth disease. There are seven stains of the same virus which can cause the same disease. So now if we want vaccination against this disease, we will actually need to provide vaccination for all the seven types of virus because it is not just one. Now, how it enters our body through saliva, mucus, milk or feces, through all of these it can enter. So, for all these infectious diseases in animals, we should make sure that the animal which is suffering from any of these diseases, that animal should be kept in isolation. Because when two animals are nearby, there are chances that uh, they will be in contact with the saliva or mucus or milk of each other. So infection spreads through inhalation, ingestion or direct contact. So ingestion means eating food. So ingestion is intake of food. So it is a term for intake of food. So this is how it can spread. And it is very common in not only cattle but pigs as well as sheep as well. 
Let us look at the symptoms, fever, decreased milk production, weight loss, loss of appetite, lameness. Now when the, there is loss of appetite, that is loss of hunger, so the animal doesn't feel like eating anything. So it is quite obvious that there will be weight loss. And when there is weight loss, so the animal is actually becoming weaker from inside. So there is decreased milk production. So they are all related to each other. So it primarily impacts the food and the mouth of the animal. It can be treated if medication is again given at an early stage. Vaccination is also available for prevention, but it is available only against certain stains of pathogen. So we cannot say that effective vaccination is available because you may be, there are total seven stains of the same virus which can cause this disease. But vaccination is available maybe for two or three stains. So what if the fourth or the fifth stain attacks the, attacks the animal? In that case, the animal will not remain protected against it. Therefore, vaccination is available, but it is not that effective. The third disease is black quarter. So here the pathogen is again a bacteria called Clostridium shovi. So this bacteria causes a disease called black quarter. So here this bacteria enters through soil or food. So it is present inside the soil and an animal always moves. I mean, they do not wear shoes and socks to protect themselves, right? So they walk on soil. So there are chances that they will enter into their body. Infection progresses extremely fast. Now, once the body is infected, after that, it the spread is really, really fast within the body. So sometimes the survival is only up to a couple of hours after symptoms are seen. So this is important. So in this case, you can understand that the treatment is going to be really, really tough because as soon as the animal gets infected, it doesn't even take time for the infection to spread throughout the body. It immediately spreads throughout the body and I mean it, it becomes fatal and it leads to death. So there is not enough time for treatment. So this is also common in cattle, sheep, goats. So these are some of the animals where this black water disease is seen. So here the symptoms are fever, swelling of limbs, lameness, inflammation of skeletal muscles. So in this disease, basically the skeletal muscles get impacted. Now when your skeletal muscles get impacted, your movement gets impacted because skeletal muscles help in your movement. So when your movement gets impacted, what will happen? The animal is not able to work to walk properly. There will be swelling on their limbs. So that means uh, the movement part gets badly impacted. Treatment completely treated only if medication is given at an early stage. But here, that give, starting medication at an early stage is very difficult. It can be treated with antibiotics because it is a bacterial infection and the antibiotic used in penic is penicillin here. The effective vaccine provides protective immunity. So a vaccination is available so that this disease doesn't happen. So that, that means prevention is available. So these were some of the diseases which, uh, which happen in animals as a result of the pathogens. So let us quickly see what are the prevention that can be followed to control the spread of infectious diseases in animals. Proper feeding of cattle so that the animal stays healthy and is less prone to be attacked by these harmful microorganisms. Maintain hygiene, that is very important because wherever there is hygiene, there is cleanliness, the chances of existence of the microbes are less. But if it is all dirty and dust, so the chances of existence of microbes is more. Regular checkup by veterinary doctor. Now, if regular checkups happen, in that case, some of these diseases like anthrax, where initial symptoms are not really present. But if regular checkup happens, so the diseases can be diagnosed at a very early stage and therefore can be completely treated. Isolation of an infected animal because all of these diseases spread from one animal to another either through, through direct contact or through the contaminated air or through milk or their feces. So therefore it is advised to keep that animals quite separate from other animals. Timely vaccination of animals because vaccination directly helps in prevention of so many diseases. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.